Hey, this is Math 7, Unit 6, Lesson 20, Combining Like Terms, Part 1. Okay, so these first ones here are going to be combining some terms. Make sure they have the same variables. Again, part of the cooldown. Hope you get those all right. Number 3, Diego says 2 times the quantity x plus 4 and 2x plus 8 are equivalent because both equal 10 when x is 1. Do you agree? Well, it's not so much if it's going to be equal to 10 when x equals 1. It's about if these two things are actually the same. That's what's more important than plugging a value in. So if I take 2x plus 4 and I expand it, I do 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 4 is 8. And that, of course, is going to equal 2x plus 8, which is this one here. So based upon this, this is why they are equivalent. Yes, when x is 1, they both equal 10. That's true. But more importantly, when I expand it, they're exactly the same. That's what you want to say when you explain your reasoning. Unlike number 4, which says 4x plus 8, 4x plus 8 is equivalent to 5x plus 7. Okay. Now they say because both equal 12 when x is 1. And that might be true. I could put a 1 here and put a 1 here and they both equal 12 and we're good to go. But is it always going to be the case? Because what if I put a 0 right here and a 0 here? I end up with nothing and nothing. And does 8 equal 7? No, it does not. So these are not actually equivalent um, expressions here. All right, so that's it. Look at number 5. Number 5, um, I had to do this one a couple times. I actually did it before and then I thought about it again. And actually, this is my second time making this video, believe it or not. I had to think about what it says here. It says select all expressions that can be subtracted subtracted from 8x. Meaning, let's just do 8x minus this stuff. Subtracted from 8x minus a negative 4 minus 2x. All right, so that's there. So 8x minus a minus 4, that becomes plus. So let me combine some like terms real quick here before I do all that stuff. I have the x's, I have an 8x and a minus 2x become a 6x, but a minus a minus becomes a plus 4, so I'd probably say no. On this next one, I can do 8x minus 4 plus 2x, just writing out the way it's written there. Combining like terms, 8x and 2x is 10x minus 4. That's not the same as this one. Here we have 8x minus 2x plus 4. 8 minus 2 is 6x. That looks good, but I have a plus 4, so not going to work out. And then finally, 8x minus 2x minus 4. Combine the like terms to get a 6x minus 4, and that's the one we're looking for right there, isn't it? Okay, number 6. All right, subtracted from negative x. So we're going to put a negative x in front, minus, subtracted from, minus a minus 1 minus 3x. So this is subtracted from that. So we have negative x. Really, this is plus 1 minus 3x. I can combine the like terms. This is negative 4x plus 1. Doesn't match, so we'd say no. This one, we're going to do negative x and subtract from it minus 3x minus 1. This is rewritten as negative x plus 3x minus 1. 3 minus 1 becomes 2x minus 1. Not going to work. Then we have negative x minus a negative 3x plus 1. So this becomes negative x plus 3x plus 1. That joins together to become regular 2x plus 1. Not going to work. And then finally, we have negative x minus 1 minus 3x, negative 3, negative 1, become a negative 4x minus 1, and we have one solution there. So it says select all expressions. I'm only seeing one for each of them when I do it that way. I've tried it with parentheses as well, just in case they wanted you to do that. I really wasn't clear on that. So not exactly sure if I did those correctly or not, but hey, it's what it is. All right, number seven. All right, yeah, can't argue with free help, right? Hey, what can I say? Lynn got a $40 gift card, yay. She used it to buy $7.99 CD, and she wants to buy some single songs, which costs $1.99 each. So 
Write an inequality for the situation. Well, she's going to spend $7.99 for a CD. She's going to add to that the cost of a single, which is $1.99 for every song. And the combination of all that needs to be less than or equal to the amount on the gift card, which is 40. So now we have our inequality. Your job and I want you to do now is to solve it and graph it right here and to talk about what your solution means. Let's look on the back side. All right, number eight. Write an equivalent, expand to write an equivalent expression. All right, let's expand it, sure. So this becomes um, negative one third times negative nine is a positive, so we can worry about that. Now three goes into nine three times. One times three is three, so we have a positive three x, and then one third times 12, three goes into 12, four times, but it's a negative times a positive, so I have a negative 4y. Alright, number 9, solve the equation. Sure, I can solve first by dividing both sides by 6. n minus 7 equals 5. I can add 7 to both sides, and n equals 12. 10, what's the value of p? So the expression 4 times n plus 10 is equivalent to n plus p equals 4. All right, so we want to know a value of p that we can put right there. So this is going to be equivalent. Okay, so let's look at those and see what do you think you need to put right there so that these would be equivalent. Okay, you have a 4 on the outside of each of those. You have an n on the inside. So what needs to go there? I'll let you do that one there for number 10. All right, number 11 factor to write an equivalent. So what can we take out of both of these here? All right, so factoring, we know they're even. So maybe you just went with even numbers. If you thought two goes into there, and they're both even, you could certainly take a two out of that. No problem. 42 divided by two is 21a, and 28 divided by two is 14, and you could leave it just like that if you wanted to. That would work. Is it perfect? No, you could probably keep going technically. So there are some other options too. That's not the perfect factor, but it is equivalent and it does work. So there are multiple answers here. I'll leave that one right there. All right, 20 is 40% of what number? All right, how do you write this word statement as a equation? You could say 20 is 40.40 of what number? I don't know. So times what? So we can divide both sides by 0.4, divide by 0.4, and we can solve that there. And 20 divided by 0.4, here's 0.4, going into 20, move the decimal over, move the decimal over and up. 4 goes into 25 times with 0, so we would say 50. So our answer is 50. So 20 is 40% one number, it's 50. That's our number. 13, Diego's buying a bike for 260. Um, what amount of sales tax must he pay if the sales tax rate is 6%? So you wanna find out 6% of that amount right there. 6% of 260 to find out the sales tax. That's it, no total cost, just the tax. And 14, what is the circumference around the pool? Use 3.14 for pi. All right, so what's the formula for some circumference? Circumference equals pi times the diameter. Or you could think about circumference as equal to two times pi times the radius. Two times radius is the diameter. They gave us a radius, so we're gonna plug those values in. They also gave you the value for pi, so you can plug those values in too. All right, so everything you need is right here, and you can plug those in and see how you do. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.